and welcome to Spotlight on the Arts. I'm Tom McNamara. Arizona Arts Live at the University of Arizona has been stepping up their efforts after the pandemic to create live experiences that aim to inspire creativity, enrich the culture of our community, and elevate Tucson's place in the world artistically. Now this April, Arizona Arts Live is bringing the live play Diamante by the Shalawate Company and Focus Company all the way from Belgium to Tucson to perform on campus. It's a funny and family-friendly show, and it's also a sympathetic portrait of humanity. It uses lo-fi special effects, miniature vehicles, puppetry, video, mimes, and more to tell the story of a family trying to live a normal life amidst global chaos. And here to tell us more about Dimanche is Sandrine Ejo of Shalawate, joining us all the way from Belgium today. Sandrine, welcome. Yes, thank you very much. <laughs> You're excited because you've got a two-week trip to the United States coming up in a very short amount of time. You'll be here in late April. Tell us how the theater company in Tucson got together with the theater company all the way in Belgium to plan and put this on. Well, um, we have um, we have someone that's promoting the show that uh, is in Berlin that's called Aurora Nova. And uh, they had a few contacts um, yeah, in the United States. And uh, someone came to see us when we were acting in Australia. And uh, yeah, and then it's went on and it's uh, prepared and and so we're really really very happy and looking forward for this uh, tour good deal we are too and you know you talk about the enthusiasm the attention has grown uh, very quickly for the show tell us what it's all about it's very entertaining i've seen the short clip already well it's uh, it's a show about climate change but it's uh, more about the denial in which we are and the delay that we uh, observe in our everyday lives between the um, uh, we know that we have to act and to 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 do something urgently to change uh, um and to make changes but at the same time we have difficulties to 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 change our everyday habits and so dimanche is uh the st there are two stories um, there's, uh, in one part, there are two, three reporters, wildlife reporters that try to go and, and, uh, film the last, uh, last animals. And on, uh, on the other side, there's a family trying to continue their day-to-day -day habits, uh, even though there are climatic, uh, um, there's a climatic crisis. So yes, what, what, what we wanted to work on was really comedy and tragedy. What are the benefits of putting it on as a play versus film, you know, over and above what you might get out of a film? Yeah, we, we, write it, we wrote it in a very uh, cinematographic way. Um, so as we work with, uh, we work with puppetry, but also with object theater. And this gives us the possibility to, yes, to change, to make a change of scales. And it's uh, very cinematographic because we can do uh, close-ups and zooms. And so um, that's what gives uh, you the impression that you're like watching a movie. Um, yes, and 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 I, as I was saying, also it's very everything is very artisanal, is very um, simply made, uh, but we try to create a lot of surprises and a lot of magic, even though if, if the 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 setting is quite simple. You've made it very family friendly. What's been the reaction um, among younger members of the audience to this? Well, it's a very family. Um, it, it it works for 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 families because I think uh, ch children are quite um, concerned <laughs> for, by climate change and and have lived quite important uh, things with the COVID crisis, etc. And so um, and so I think they feel really concerned by the question. And for example, we had a really beautiful um, uh, example in Australia when we played, it was just after the big uh, forest fires. And so the people were very, uh, yeah, very touched by the show. And there was a little boy that was nine, 10 years old that wrote in the, in the evening, he wrote to the prime minister to say that there had to be changes uh, quick changes uh, to be made um, to act uh, for climate change. So yeah, 
we feel we see that children feel really concerned by by the question. And that sounds like it pretty much sums up the takeaway that you want people to have from the show. Of course, yes, of course. It's it's a question that really concerns us all, and uh, and the future of our planet. So. Um, so yes, we we don't want it to be a, I don't know how you say it in English moralizator to give a moral, but um, but for people to to have a reflect to reflect after the show and to to see how they can yeah how we can change thing, things so that we can hope for a better future than what is what we're looking uh, looking at for the moment. All right. Well, Sandrine, thank you so much for joining us today. We wish you a wonderful trip here to the United States. Thank you very much. Best of luck on your American tour and here in Tucson. And you'll have a chance to see Demanche from April 26th to April 29th at the Tornabine Theater on the University of Arizona campus. Student ticket prices are available. And thanks for watching Spotlight on the Arts. I'm Tom McNamara. We'll see you again soon.